G'day, I'm Sean Fitzpatrick's Real Estate. Welcome to The Buzz for the 15th of February. Well, last week we conducted 23 open homes with an average of 4.5. That was up a little bit from the previous week. We received 20 offers with the average offer price of 370,000. And there were 17 sales with the average sale price of 249,000. Uh, we conducted 15 market appraisals and from that we listed seven of those properties. Just following on a little bit from last week, some of the frequently asked questions we get out in the field, we spoke about finances, so some tips for choosing the right home. Just following on from finances, again, I stress it's important to buy within your means. Consider the ongoing costs, are there gonna be any future renovations, maintenance, your heating and cooling bills, plus water if you're looking at acreage, things like that. You know, are there gonna be a change in personal circumstances, whether that's employment, managing your business cash flow, things like that. So number one tip there is obviously your finance. Second tip, when you're finding a home, consider the location. Have a look at the neighbours. Do you need to be close to transport? Do you need to be close to schools? Do you need to be in certain school zones? Because the schools are filling up, they're really, really nearly at capacity in Wagga and you have to be within that zone to have your kids attend the, those particular schools. Other things to consider, um, beat the rush. Register for property alerts, whether it's via our website, fitzpatricks.com.au or realestate.com.au. Get in before the paper, let the agents know you're out there looking. Um, and if they know you're keen, we'll call, that's, that's for sure. Uh, something else, the size and the floor plan. Does the floor plan allow plenty of natural light, good ventilation to help with those heating and cooling bills? Do you need separate living areas for teenagers or if you've got younger kids, do you need to keep an eye on them from inside the house if they're playing in the pool or the rear yard or if you are in a busy location where there might be a little bit more traffic as well. So consider all those sorts of things with your floor plan and uh, the size and how much room you need if you need to work from home, you need an office and things like that. Uh, also do your own research, attend all the open homes, look at other agents listings, not just ours. Look online, there's an abundance of information online. That's where we're getting our information from too. You can register for those sites. So you feel comfortable with what the agent's telling you and you will go through that cycle of buyer's remorse once you have negotiated a deal on the right home. We all do it, um, but the more detail and facts that you have, the more comfortable you'll feel with it that you've made the right decision. So the new listings for the week, some of these homes to get out and have a look at. 18 Stellway, this is a beautiful four bedroom, two bathroom home with a double lock up garage. Nice street there at the top of Gracelands or Coringle, uh, as it may better be known as. Elevated views, there's some potential there to do a few updates and capitalise. There's no neighbours behind you, a nice big reserve there at the top of Rocky Hill. That one will be open on Saturday and that's listed for 419,000. Another one in Coringle, this one's a three bedroom, two bathroom home with a double lock up garage. This is probably one of the best streets in Kringle, I feel. This home is presented. You'll be, you'll be caught up in the rush at this one, I think. This one's listed at 389,000. So get up and have a look at that one with Matt Newley. And 26 Fraser Street, three bedrooms with three bathrooms. There's a single lock-up garage there, a pool. This is an entertainer's dream. You sort of perched up next to the swimming pool, enclosed areas. You'll love it if you like to have your friends and family over. So get out, I hope to see you at a couple of those open homes on the weekend. I'm Sean Lowry and thanks for watching.